Hey, welcome back, guys. One of the major highlights of Power Book 2's second half was the reigniting of Tariq and Effie's relationship. MIA for most of the season, sans episode 1, Effie returned with a vengeance in 108, running off Tariq's future ex-mistress and subsequently assisting him with making some much-needed quick paper. Many of you have constantly inquired about Effie and when I was going to give her her proper respect, similar to Diana and Lauren. Well, your wish is my command in this one. Today's video will cover the unique dynamic between Tariq and Effie and what distinguishes their bond from the rest. Before we begin, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and bell notification to immediately receive these videos. Also, big thank you to all of my channel donors. If you'd like to be the next one, drop a dollar on that cash app for us. Lastly, a spoiler alert is now in effect for all things power. Here we go. Effie and Tariq have a bond that precedes our current narrative. In Book 1's final chapter, Tariq made Effie's acquaintance at Choke. The two hit it off, with him extending his hustler resources to her and later developing a romance. This was a first for Little Ghost. Though not his first interaction with the girl, this was the first one that felt authentic. He and Effie were not just partners in petty crime, but friends as well. He shared things with his newfound love interest, personal things, aspects of himself that he didn't share with anyone. They were often depicted in exchanges over chess, a game near and dear to Tariq's heart, courtesy of Kanan. Effie allowed a young, cold-hearted hustler to be to open up and give freely of himself. Everything was going well between the budding twosome. That is, until Effie cut Tariq out of the choked drug trade by snitching on him, resulting in his immediate expulsion. Tariq was throttled by the maneuver, understanding early that it was her behind the treachery due to the fallen queen on the chessboard, a protracted symbolism used throughout Tariq's story, most notably in Power Book 2. Much changed for our new series lead between Effie's betrayal and her return in Power Ghost Pilot. That return was accompanied by a hint of necessity on Tariq's behalf as those aforementioned changes left him searching for as many income avenues as possible. He was dead set on helping his mother's case, and Effie became a conduit for such endeavors. Tariq met with her through Brayden, and the two had a brief yet bittersweet exchange. Effie lamented her past transgressions against her former lover. She stressed that her maneuver against him was strictly business, never personal. Additionally, she attempted to rebuild their situationship by trying to get Tariq to open up about his parents and the problems therein. Reek was rightfully distrustful and left her standing with no product but plenty of desire for a future encounter. That encounter arrived in episode 108, ironically titled Family First. At Tariq's emotional low point due to the familial nature of Homecoming Weekend, Effie randomly popped up looking to make amends with her old friend while simultaneously using his network to move product promising to share the profits 50-50. Tariq once again rebuffed her advances, but a run-in with the freshly released 2-bit forced him to mend fences with his old flame in more ways than one. This scene was arguably their most important. Tariq outlined his reasons for mistrusting Effie so adamantly. For Tariq, truth and transparency are overarching realities that are not to be toyed with. This is somewhat contradictory as Tariq, like his father before him, sees no issue in lying profusely to achieve his aims. It's for this reason that the truth is held so dear to him. Also, keep in mind that the reason to re-kill his father was for the many lies he told him. That refusal to keep it a buck sowed a deep discontent within his scorned soul, something I outlined in detail in this video. Effie was the first woman outside of his mother that he could be himself with. She gave him space to be vulnerable, and that sacred space was ravaged by her treacherous play. The cruel irony here is that Tariq would have done the same if the tables were turned. Effie alluded to this fact, though unknowingly, when she asked him, haven't you ever done something you had to do, even if it was the last thing you wanted to do? Tariq had to exercise the truth within himself and undoubtedly agree. When Tariq had to choose between his mother and Kanan, he did what he had to do. When Tariq had to choose between paying Vincent and robbing his uncle Tommy, he did what he had to do. And when Tariq had to choose between freedom and potential incarceration, he did what he had to do. This theme has been consistent within Tariq. 
He even furthered this query against Monet when having to choose between paying her and paying off a potential witness against his mother. Also, Jabari Kelly learned the hard way that forcing Tariq's hand would have dire consequences. Effie's declaration that, we're the same, we both do what needs to be done, reopened the doors of reconciliation between the two. That statement, along with Tasha's advice in the realm of trust, allowed Tariq to let Effie fulfill the void burgeoning within him. Following this quote, and prior to some long-awaited makeup clappage, Effie mistakenly unveiled Tariq's gun, to which he was apprehensive. Much to his surprise, and ours, however, she revealed her own. This moment confirmed the crux of their relationship. Effie and Tariq are two guns of the same holster, both mysterious, unassuming, yet deadly. The two guns represented their respective owners in this way, especially considering that they were hidden, much like the feelings these two withheld from one another. Effie and Tariq's Stanfield love affair solidified her position in his life, much to the chagrin of Lauren and potentially Diana when she finds out, which may not be far given that the Tejadas are in need of a new connect and Tariq has an opening through his true trap queen. This coveted position with our new series lead was even maintained through turmoil as Effie was upset that Tariq left her hanging prior to the big game. What she didn't know is that Reek's life was under imminent danger and those default settings of closure began to rear their protective, ugly heads. However, Tariq and Effie would meet up one last time before season's end and he did something we rarely saw his father do, apologize. He lamented not being there for Effie and confessed that he needed her, stating, quote, you're the only person that understands me. He then confided in her a major display of trust. She helped Tariq accept the monster within himself, correlating his savage nature with her own. Make no mistake, barring a tragic power arc in future seasons, Effie will be in Tariq's life to stay, and that proverbial holster will be occupied by the two kindred spirits. Thank you for watching today's video. How do you think the Tariq and Effie love affair will play out in season two? Be sure to leave me your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. As always, I thank you for watching today's video. If you like today's video, go ahead and drop a dollar on that cash app for us, hit the like button, share it with your friends who are Power Ghost fans, and subscribe for more content such as this. This is Rudy P. Magic of Rudy P. Magic Beats, and have a blessed one until the next one. Peace, y'all.